KDE Plasma is just packed with features, some of which even long-term Plasma users might not know about. Here are some cool hidden gems of KDE Plasma. Up first, let's talk about KRunner. KRunner is an awesome feature of Plasma, and one of my favorites. There are a few ways you can activate it, but the fastest is the keyboard shortcut. The default shortcut for KRunner is Alt plus Space. And once you've activated it, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can launch applications, search for files, run commands, and just so much more. In fact, there is a bunch of plugins you can use to expand the functionality of KRunner. Next, if you press and hold the super key and then left click and drag anywhere on a window, you can very quickly move around that window. With this, you don't have to use the title bar or worry about accidentally clicking something because it takes you into a window manipulation only mode. Now, some of you may already know that Plasma can do this, but did you know that if you press and hold super key and then right click and drag, you can quickly resize a window. Gone are the days of having to get your mouse directly on the edge of the window. As long as you're remotely in the vicinity of an edge, this will work. Also real quick, what I mean by super key is also known as the windows key or meta key or mod four key. It's got a lot of names. I'll be using super key because I just like that one better. Another cool super key related hidden gem is the zoom feature. Press and hold the super key and then press equal or minus to zoom in or out of your desktop. KDE Plasma also has some tiling functionality. Now it's not intended to compete with the window managers that are exclusively made for tiling, but it does a fantastic job for my use case. You press and hold super, and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard to tile the window. There's half screen tiling, which is vertically and horizontally by default, but you can also do quarter tiling. Now, for example, if you want to tile a window to the top right corner, you just do super up immediately followed by super right, holding super down the whole time, and it will put it in that corner. You can also use this tiling functionality to move a window between different screens if you have multiple monitors. If you're like me and have a lot of applications open at the same time, it might become a bit complicated to navigate. Present Windows is a feature that takes all of the windows and displays them in a nice overlay style, making it faster to locate the app that you want. To activate this, you can use the hot corner at the top left of your screen or use the shortcut Control F10. Virtual desktops are an awesome feature of Plasma. They're also fairly common in the Linux ecosystem, though you may have heard of them referred to as workspaces elsewhere. By default, KDE Plasma comes with a single virtual desktop, but if you want to add more, you can go to System Settings, Workspace Behavior, Virtual Desktops, and then add as many as you want. I typically run about four virtual desktops, but at one point I had nine. I can't explain to you why I had nine, but the point is you can. Once you have a few virtual desktops, you can try out the desktop grid. This essentially does the same thing as present windows, but instead does it for your virtual desktops. You can activate the desktop grid by using the shortcut Control F8. Now, while you're in the desktop grid, another cool hidden gem is that you can right click a window in one of the desktops to make it display on all of the desktops. The next set of hidden gems require a bit of configuration, but they are pretty awesome, so you'll probably want to do it. Also, if you want to see how exactly I configure my system for these features, then check out the companion article I wrote for frontpagelinux.com, link in the description. If you'd like to have a minimal app menu on your desktop, then right click your desktop and choose configure desktop and wallpaper. In the sidebar of the window that loads, select mouse actions. In the drop down next to the middle button option, change that to application launcher, and now you'll have a slick minimal desktop menu. The decorations around a window are very useful, but sometimes they can get in the way. If you do the quarter tiling like we just mentioned earlier in the video, it would be nice to be able to remove the borders to optimize the screen real estate. That's where the No Borders feature comes in. Right click the title bar, go to More Actions, and choose No Border. And now you can see you have a lot more room for apps. Now this is great, but it's kind of hard to get back into this menu without the title bar. This is why I suggest creating a custom shortcut for this feature. Go to System Settings, Shortcuts, and search for Border. And then the shortcut I use for this is Super B for Borders. Have you ever wanted to have a window sitting on top of another window, but still be able to see through it to the lower window, like lowering the opacity, making it transparent? Well, you can do that by creating a custom shortcut in Plasma. Go to System Settings, Shortcuts, and search for Opacity. Then set the increase to super alt equals and the decrease to super alt minus. And now you can quickly and easily raise and lower the opacity of a window. KDE Plasma's show alternatives feature is fantastic. 
If you prefer an alternative to almost anything, you can change it out for something else. Maybe you want a more minimalist system menu. You can right-click the menu and choose Show Alternatives and select the Application menu. Also, if you want to go the complete opposite route, you can choose the Application Dashboard and have a full screen menu instead. Let's say you want more options than what is offered through Alternatives. That's where the Get New feature comes in. You can use this to get all sorts of cool stuff like icons, themes, menus, additional KRunner plugins, and much, much more. If you want to browse the entire directory of stuff in one place, you can do that by going to store.kde.org. The KDE store is filled with a ton of awesome stuff. But keep in mind, anyone can post to this directory, so don't just blindly install things. Read reviews, read comments, you know the drill. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it useful. If you did, then be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any hidden gems yourself about KDE Plasma or any Linux-related stuff, please let me know in the comments below, and I may feature them in a future video. Also, if you want some more great content from me, then check out one or all three of my podcasts on the Destination Linux Network. And if you want some more KDE goodness, then check out this video for my top five reasons why I use KDE Plasma.